No running water, no electricity, no basic services. The Kremlin's new strategy targeting energy infrastructure has plunged thousands of Ukrainians into darkness and the cold. The hardest hit are those living in devastated areas, like the recaptured eastern town of Kobyansk, which is still under attack and just 10 kilometers from the front line. A spokesperson for the state's emergency services says Russian shelling has left 1,162 settlements without power, including some areas in the occupied territories. Meanwhile, the Russian Defense Ministry has released footage of its tanks in Ukraine, launching strikes on frontline targets. Military spokesperson Igor Konashenkov says troops have made their first gains in the Kharkiv region since Moscow's troops were pushed back in a sweeping counteroffensive. In the southern port city of Mykolaiv, emergency services are searching for people buried in the rubble of an apartment block after it was hit by a missile on Tuesday morning. Back in the capital, residents are still reeling after explosive-laden suicide drones allegedly supplied by Iran struck several apartment blocks. Amid a mammoth cleanup operation, Ukraine's foreign minister has proposed that President Zelensky cut ties with Tehran for what it says is complicity in the crimes of Russian aggression. But Iran says it has not provided weapons to Moscow.